This video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare. <laughs> Good morning. It is time to actually head on into town. We're going to be working on my dissertation this morning. I have some literature that I need to review, so I'm going to go ahead and head to a coffee shop because I have been working from home this week and I've just been finding myself getting distracted. So I figured I'd show you what I'm wearing. I have on my Cezanne Gaspard cardigan. Got my secondhand belt, Levi's jeans and then my Polen bag that I shared in a recent vlog. And then I have my Cezanne coat, which has this really nice um, pattern on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack up my bag and then we have to head over to Knightsbridge and we're gonna meet up with Kendall, but I'm gonna try to get there early so that I can get a little bit of reading done before she arrives. I got a little bit of reading done, but the music in the cafe was really loud. And I just found out that there is a brand new stationery shop basically just around the corner. So I'm going to make a quick stop in and then I'm actually gonna head home because Kendall wasn't actually able to meet up, but I still wanted to get a little bit of reading done, which I did. So I'm gonna stop at the stationery store, then head home and we are gonna continue our reading. And now for a quick message about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform for creatives, entrepreneurs, and lifelong learners seeking to add to their skill set and make time for their extracurricular pursuits or even build a business or side hustle. I actually took Ali Abdal's Skillshare class on how to edit on Final Cut over four years ago, and those skills have served me well in creating this YouTube channel. But now that I'm looking to get a bit more practice, I am trying to refine my cinematography, color grading, and editing techniques 
using the learning pathway for editing eye-catching videos on Final Cut Pro. With Skillshare's learning pathways, they have assembled a catalog of their most popular lessons into a curriculum to help you continuously improve your skills. I also want to quickly shout out my friend Jade's class on study skills as well, because while I love the creative courses on Skillshare, there are so many others that offer insights on learning and productivity. Now, Skillshare has so kindly offered a month of free classes for the first 500 of you to click the link in the description. So jump on in and check out the hundreds of courses that are available at your fingertips. Now let's get back to the vlog. I'm back now. I got some stationary cards and I am gonna save them. I'm not gonna show them because a couple of them are specifically for my partner. So I am just stockpiling a bunch of cards so that way when the time comes to need a card, I don't have to worry about it. Now I'm back home and it is time to dive back into Laboring Women by Jennifer Morgan. I did not have my highlighters with me, so I'm glad that I'm home now because I have everything that I need in order to market properly. We have the writing group for Accepted Society this evening, and I want to get as much reading done before then as possible because I want to use the session in order to do some just brain dump free writing. There's one section that I almost completely forgot about in my previous readings of Jennifer Morgan, and this is why I highly recommend rereading literature. And she talks about how the landscape of primogeniture changes in the colonial context. This is due to mortality rates. This is due to changes in access to wealth and access to wills. And it's just really interesting. There is a lot of literature backing that up that I'm going to have to dig into, including Lorena Walsh's work on Virginia. There was a couple articles in there that I needed to go through. So it's given me a lot to work with and it doesn't really point me in the direction that I was planning on, but that's just how research goes. And I'm just going to dig in and we're going to do a little bit of reading for the next couple of hours. So that way I am well prepared for the meeting later today so I can get a lot of work done. So let's get into it. I ended up with not just one, but two bobas. Well, there's not actually boba in them, it's just tea. <laughs> It's like when I say that I'm gonna go get coffee, but actually I end up just getting a matcha, like every time. I remember somebody got on me about that in my DMs once. I'm like, you're not drinking coffee. Stop saying you're drinking coffee. You're drinking tea. I was like, why is everyone so miffed? But yeah, I'm more of a tea person than a coffee person. Now it is time to go ahead and run the writing group for Accepted Society. So I'm gonna go log into the zoom account and get it fired up. I feel like reading history literature, every five-ish sentences has a citation of like where the original thought came from. I think it's quite interesting because we have to track the lineages of the intellectual history of the historiography in addition to trying to track the actual project and the, and the sources that you're looping in. Okay, but anyhow, um, you guys jumped on right when Mary and I were having a discussion about uh, my, my plan for today. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm talking a little bit about what our plan is for today's session. Um, let's go ahead 
Anna Purnell, would you like to go ahead and get us started? again I'm so glad that I am rereading this book because there's just so much that I missed in terms of the sources but I am still making my way through laboring women and as I said at the introduction of the writing group what I'm now going to do is essentially take this and start working on a book review but more specifically aligning it with my dissertation and I want to dig a bit further into it but my problem at the moment is that I have developed a terrible habit of feeling like I need to read a ton before I'm able to say anything and I used to be able to write papers and I wrote an entire dissertation for my master's without having read the entirety of all of my texts so I should be able to do this so I'm going to open up the document and just jot down what's in my brain, and we'll see how it goes. Mystery man, he's not actually this tall, but I am bending down. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. All right, I am done working for today. I got a lot of reading done and it's time to call it a day. I am now making dinner for London boy and myself. And we're just gonna hang out and spend Friday night watching a movie or we're likely reading my book and take the weekend off. So hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.